Good day guys, today we will tell you how to create and edit your tower in Tower Defense 2D. First of all, let's open Unit Editor. Window, 2D 2D underscore units. To be able to create new tower, press Add New Ranged Tower button. As we can see, there is a new prefab automatically created and placed in our scene. Let's see from what our tower is consist of. Skin. This is a visual component container. There are three parts, and for each part we can add needed sprite. Fire point. This is a point from where ammo will appear. Unit info. This component contains description of the unit when player clicking on it. As default, unit info field is filling automatically from the scripts. But you can add your own description if needed. Attack Ranged. This component is responsible for the attack range, damage and ammo prefab which tower is using. Actions. This is X3, which you can see while clicking on tower during the game. As default, there is only one action. Sell the tower. Let's check what we can see in the editor window if we will choose our tower. Price. Gold amount which is needed to build the tower. Damage. This is damage which the tower will make to the enemies for one attack. Cooldown. Interval between attacks. Range. Attack radius. As well we can set fire point position and choose ammo prefab. We can use also which targets can attack our tower, ground or air. Show range is convenient to use when you configure the appearance of the radius of attack of the tower. Let's add to our tower some additional actions. Click the corresponding button. Here we can see the list of available actions. To access the construction of the tower, we need to choose Build. In this case, we have to choose Tower Prefab, which will be builded while use of this action. And also to choose an icon. The tower price will be added automatically from tower prefab during the game. Let's add one more action, for example, stun. While using this ability, the tower will fire with stunning bomb. For this action, we can set cooldown component and choose an icon. Our tower is ready. Not forget to apply changes, and we can delete this object from the scene. To be able to build our tower in the game, let's add it to available actions for building place. We have one building place in the scene. In order that these changes will take a force for previously added towers, we just can simply reselect the tower for our building place. Let's check. The last thing that we have to make. For the chosen level, we have to allow building of our tower. In another case, instead of icon, we will see a lock. Let's start the game. Works fine. But there is no animation yet. When you create a tower, there is also animation template creating, which contains all the necessary states and figures that are called from the scripts. First of all, we need to set animation controller for our tower. Drag it. As we can see, for our tower, there is only two states available, idle and attack. Let's create animation. It 
it's very very important that the animation has to have the same name as the state. Let's check that the controller catched the animation is created by us. Another thing, uncheck loop from attack animation. Ok, start the game. Now we can see that the animation is working when our tower is attacking the enemy.